Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, ICH3 Tech. I'm coming to you here. It's like I got all my parts in. This is part two of my Hackintosh build, maybe this PC. Um, I got some components that don't have, uh, it might not be compatible with the Hackintosh, so I'm just going to build off of this. I know that they told me a lot of the MSI, you could build off of that and use Hackintosh. So I'm, I'm going to go step by step, and I'm actually going to unbox them so you can see each one. So uh, first we're going to go with the... Um, I'm just going with the part here. I have a Wi-Fi Bluetooth. I will have the link below to say the company name and where you can go straight to to pick this up. Uh, I got the Gigabyte uh, Z270X Ultra Gaming. I have the MSI Graphic Card X. This is the, uh, this is the RX uh, 480. And I have the Corsair um, 650X Power Supply. I have the Kraken X62 water cooling. Uh, this is a 280 millimeter um, um, radiator. I have the Elgato graphic card for my video editing where I'm doing with my live streaming. I have a Corsair 16 gig LED blue um, vision um, uh, RAM. And I have four Corsairs uh, fans. I have two 140s and two 120s to put on so I'm putting 120s on top, and then for my um, cracking a six um, X62, I'm going to put the two one, uh, 140s on there and put the 120s on the on the side here. But this case here is actually the the NZXT case white elite. The, uh, so it's actually the elite, the the S340 elite uh, case. So I'm going to build all this stuff, and we're going to go right to the next video and get right into it and um, I'm just go one by one on each box while I'm doing it and putting it together you're gonna see that so um, stay tuned to the video and like I said before links is gonna be below so if you like subscribe um, I got a new intro too so you will see that on here so see you on the bill and give me some slack guys this is my first time doing this but uh, actually you want to put this in first the supply so when you put your motherboard everything be good to go all right and um, get straight in here and take this out. And we're going to put this right on top of the box. And this is, is the Gigabyte Ultra Gaming board. Look at that. Now, these are LEDs on here. You got a few in here, a few under here. And you got some in the middle of these here. And you got one along here. And you got like a heating sense, basically it's like a Wi-Fi little sensor, but it'll show glow when you're, um, uh, actually your motherboard goes off. Okay, and the ports you have there, it's right in there. Uh, you have, uh, this is a new USB backwards to go two or three, um, VGA, uh, and you got USB Type-C and USB 3.1, 3.0, 3.1, excuse me, and this is USB 3.0 and an HDMI and two USB 2s and an Ethernet, and then you know your IO is there. So we're going to put this on the end, so we need this. And we're going to need the SATAs. SATA put that in there. Move that to the side. that to the side and we're gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna grab right under here. Um, uh, we're gonna have the ultra gaming part here. I'm actually gonna rip this open real quick. I should even have a port for that one. That was a should have it. Cut this open. Should have this one cut for you guys already. Oh, my LeBron stuff. Uh, MSI, I like this because it looks like a Porsche look a little bit. But they give you a little part here. Uh, actually, the presentation on this is pretty nice. Uh, basically, just CDs and basically 
guides and stuff like that to show you which, what all you have to do step by step. And actually, let's see uh, the graphic card. Actually, you get a little thank you guy for choosing their products. And I guess you get a register where you register your um, gaming board, uh, graphic card. But this is the beast here. Um, why the lights off? I can see nothing now. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to take this out of here, and this is what you get here. Oh, shoot, this, this is a freaking beast, bro. Uh, auto ports, you have your, I think these are display ports, and you get two HDMI, one for your, uh, uh, port for your, I will go through that on there part there. You got MSI, this is VGH. Um, and also I like here these light up whenever you turn your board on so you basically have your 8 pin connector you got the pipes the heating pipes and this lights up also and this is the back of it I am going to get a custom back plate later on for this but this is pretty awesome so move to the next thing is You want to open this bad boy. Get all the big stuff out the way. I'm going to get it on top of it. On top? Mm -hmm. I'm about to put this in. Crack it. It might be a little long, but I, I might edit some stuff so you won't have to worry about how long it'll be. And these are ports for your um, for the heat sink. Uh, it all comes with thermal paste on this, so you don't have to worry about buying paste because it's pre applied with thermal paste. Huh? What'd you say? What? Come back with the thermal paste. Yeah. I just think. It do smell like Minnie Mouse, but um, yes, and actually these light up LEDs on the bottom too. Um, I'm kind of new at this guy, so excuse me if I'm saying things correctly, but this is the radiator. Damn, this is like a car radiator. Damn, bro. It's fucking water in it. Yeah, it's cool though. Oh, okay. I guess it's... It's got the cartoon. It's got this. The cartoon. This is the radiator. That's the radiator. This is a water cooler radiator, so you can hear the water inside. I actually first time building a PC, so you gotta excuse me if I say something out of line. Um, you got your two fans here. It comes with it, and actually the brackets that come for the back of the motherboard. Actually, I'm glad I brought that out because that's what I need first. So we're gonna put these to the side because these come with two 140 fans on the 62, but I think it comes with two 120s on the 52 cracking. So yeah, you get two 180s. Yeah, these are two, two uh, 140s uh, cracking. Um, thing there. Also, we got the Intel chip i7-7700. This is the LG, LGA-1151. We got like a socket there, so I'm actually gonna put this right beside the motherboard so we go forward on that. And we have a lot of junk everywhere. Also, this is gonna go on the motherboard. Once we put the motherboard, we're gonna drop it on there. And once the motherboard is attached, you get your little piece to put in the USB hub to run your Ethernet uh, for your inner, uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And this gives you good, really down and up speed, so you can really get like 1300 megabytes. So this thing is a beast. I got that for, you know, for the Hackintosh and handoff. And um, the power supply I already got hooked up to it so I can get it straight into here. So I put the four screws in. And um, you always want your, it's because I have a vent on the bottom of this, so you want the 
the fan to go down so it can pull in to go out. So uh, we're going to be hooking up all these ports to go straight into there too. So uh, a lot of that stuff is going to go in. And this is the RAM. Actually, while we're here, I can actually install these RAMs because I'm going to show you how to install these. I know how to install this part. So I'm going to grab the motherboard back. And you always want to do, there's going to be a part. Uh, it's going to show you right here. It's going to be, uh, it's going to start from one, two, three, and four. So you always want to open up the only ones that start from like one and two, like the middle ones. Those are the ones you want to put your um, card in if you only got two. But if you got four, you can open them all up and start for start from there. But you always want to start from, you know, outside in. And then don't be scared to give a little apply to it. A little pressure. And make sure it goes in. You want to hear that click. You're not breaking your motherboard or anything, but you want to hear that click. Yeah. You keep on or take it off for this one. Also, you can put there. Uh, put that on there. So this is the first time building a PC in a minute. So you want to hear that click? Click. So you can take these off if you want to, if you want to not see the Corsair, but uh, actually I want to keep those on there. Uh, so I applied that to, to go on. Um, so this to show you how to do that part, and uh, we're going to start building after that. And uh, once I'm done building, I'll show you what it look like. I'm just showing you the PC and everything else like that. I just don't want to mess up anything. You don't need that open. Uh, we need this because... Uh, we need this here because this is going to control our fans. I need to figure out where I'm going to stick this at. This is going to control our fans. I know I might end up hurting myself. Okay, trying to get this open. Hmm, I just do it this way. Now, you get this from um, N uh, NZXT. You get this from there. They're going to actually give you a free one of these right now. They got a deal going on. If you've got a water cooling the pipe, uh, they give you a free fan reader. So they give you all that there. I don't too much time going out. Okay. So. All right. Uh, actually, you know what? We can open this up. I'm just having a little fun right now. So you don't need right now. No, we did the fans. We didn't see them for long. And also, uh, I just give you an unboxing of each one of these, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this PC together, put this system together. I think I'm gonna show a little video of me putting it together, so you will see that um, coming on there. But actually, I want to show you the Pro from Elgato to shoot my videos because I'm definitely gonna be doing that. So this is the the beast right here. You just put it in the motherboard, pop it in, you'll be good to go. All right, when I see y'all in the video, actually I'm gonna go straight to it and start building this thing. So I'll catch y'all in 